First at four, a story that could not be more fitting for the week of Thanksgiving. A Toledo man gets clemency and is immediately released from prison after serving more than 12 years. Yeah, Willie Knight Jr. was convicted of murder in 1997. And since that time, the judge who found him guilty in a bench trial realized his ruling was a mistake and has been trying to get Knight out of prison. Just yesterday, Governor Ted Strickland allowed his immediate release. Michelle Zepeda was at the emotional homecoming today. She's live with that story. Well, Willie and his family believe his homecoming would not have been possible without the determination of the late Judge William Scow. Before he passed away in June, Judge Scow wrote this letter to the Ohio Parole Board and even met with the governor and claims that he had found different that were actually wrong and Willie was actually innocent. He said the case had weighed heavily on his mind for years. That's it? Family waited patiently outside the house and across the street, friends and neighbors gathered, all for this moment. It wasn't until last night that Willie and his family found out they would be reunited just hours later. It seemed like a dream, but it's a dream that was a long time coming. And we know, it, we know it's real, but I'm still just basking in the, the glory of it. Man. Man. God is good, man. Will. Willie praise God and his parents for sticking with him and keeping his spirit strong. And it paid off. Now Willie says he can live his life. I want to sing. God has called me to sing gospel music, and I love it with a passion. I also want to study scripture. Despite the decade of his life lost in prison, neither Willie nor his family are bitter. I love y'all, man. It's serious behind it, man. They are actually thankful for Judge Scow. There were so many obstacles in his way, but he never gave up. In 2000, he called me back to his courtroom and said, Mr. Knight, don't give up. The wheels of justice turn slow, but they are turning. He said, I'm going to help you any way I can. He the family is so thankful and says they're preparing for an unforgettable Thanksgiving together. We're chilling the collard greens on already. We can eat right now. Now, since the conviction, Willie's mother has become friends with Addie Turner. She's the mother of the victim in the murder that Willie was convicted of. In Judge Scow's letter to the Board of Parole, he states the two women actually came to his chamber, chambers, both believing Willie was innocent. Now, I did stop by Addie Turner's home today, but there was no answer. Reporting live, Michelle Zapata, Fox Toledo News, first at four.